alongside the train coach at all times while the train is in motion. Our voyage today takes place aboard a specially designed C.P. Huntington train, modeled after the turn of the century steam engines. It will take us around the entire seven acres situated along Houston's Buffalo Bayou. Along the way, we will learn about the downtown aquarium, as well as the importance of sharks and their role in the marine world. The Buffalo Bayou rests just beside and behind our property. The historic Central Waterworks building, just ahead, was built in the late 1800s. It was used to pump water from the bayou for Houston residents and for the fire stations to utilize. Over the next 100 years, as Houston grew, fresh water became apparent, and that became the end of the Waterworks building. Now, it's home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. In the fall of 2017, Hurricane Harvey was an unprecedented storm that caused unforeseen damage to our shark tunnel and tanks. The life support systems and all electrical were destroyed. It was engulfed with 27 feet of water. If you look up to the building on your right, you'll see the marked bloodlines from the last two major flood events. Welcome to the historic Central Waterworks building. This turn of the century building is now home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. The tunnel in which we are located is approximately 70 feet long, and the acrylic is over 5 inches thick, supporting more than 700 tons of water directly over your head. There are several different species of sharks swimming around us. The largest of the sharks that you see is the sand tiger shark. These sharks are 10 feet long and weigh over 200 pounds. They are found worldwide and are identifiable by their numerous rows of shark teeth. The most numerous sharks in our exhibit are brown sharks, which are frequently found off the coast of Galveston. The brown sharks that you see here are approximately 5 to 7 feet in length and are the most aggressive feeders in the exhibit. It is a common misconception that sharks need to constantly move. However, you may notice some sharks resting on the bottom of the exhibit. They are nurse sharks and spend the majority of their time on the ocean floor. They can reach up to 10 feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds. The most unusual and rare animal located in the tank above you is the sawfish. It is a ray, not a shark and can reach over 20 feet in length, weighing over 1,000 pounds. The sawfish uses its toothed saw to kill its prey. The large female sawfish you see actually survived Hurricane Harvey's flood. Due to her ability to live in lower oxygen environments and in both fresh and salt water, she was able to maintain until we could get the filtration re-established. Now that is Houston Strong. Sawfish are considered endangered internationally, and Landry's Incorporated is proud to be working on partnerships with Australian scientists to help save the sawfish. Animals in the exhibit are fed three times a week. Divers routinely go into the tank for maintenance, but we never feed our sharks while divers are in the water. It would be far too dangerous. Even with the chainmail suits our divers wear, the brown and sand tiger sharks have enough power in their jaws to crush a person's arm or leg. In recent years, there has been a decrease in the shark population. OSEARCH, a nonprofit organization, is leading the way in groundbreaking research about the biology and health of sharks through tagging, biosampling, and data collected from their global shark tracks. You can track great whites online. It's pretty cool. Landry's Incorporated has partnered with OSEARCH to share this valuable research through our development of classroom curriculum. 
We hope that you have enjoyed our brief look into the exciting world of sharks. We'll continue on from here. Sharks are fascinating animals. It's amazing how attractive they are. Have any of you heard about the great white shark that escaped from our shark tank during the last flood? Our scientific staff has searched the entire Gulf Coast trying to recapture it. It was never found, and some believe that it may still be in the Buffalo Bayou. So keep a lookout as we travel through the park. The Downtown Aquarium Project was conceived in 2001 and took 18 months to build. Wow! Look at this! It looks like the Great White Bay has spent some time around here. Look at that boat hole! That's one big bite! Hey everyone, we're approaching a bridge, so be careful not to fall out.